We are the Rookie Managers, and this is our final presentation following John's Bistro. First off, let's meet our team. Macy Kober. Albert Anthony. Celia Hagerman. Nicole Zemitis. Alex Kleinfeld. And Kaylee Davis. Introduction. We were given the goal of creating, developing, and completing a TV show to reflect concepts learned during our Principles of Management course. Our team created John's Bistro, a TV miniseries that follows our four characters while applying management concepts in a restaurant setting. We sought to create a show that highlighted the real risk of competition and failure within the hospitality industry. Through our TV show, we represent the ability of a team to come together in order to accomplish their goals, similar to how our team behind the show, Rookie Managers, have done. The employees show determination and resilience as they fight to come up with ways to regain business that was lost to the competition. The con employees consistently utilize various management concepts in an effort to save their failing business. Overall, our series aims to present management concepts in a fun and engaging way for our target audience of 18 to 50 year olds. Summary of John's Bistro. Our story follows John's Bistro, a restaurant at risk of failing after a popular pizza restaurant opens up down the street from them. The increase in market competition coming from the new business puts John's Bistro at risk of failing, and the employees have to come together to come up with ways to save it. John, Hannah, Stacy, and Jake will show us how to become a more cohesive and efficient team by using each team member's individual strengths. We will apply and demonstrate various management concepts such as competitive advantage, differentiation strategy, classical decision making, specialization, and formalization, to name a few. Join our team as we explore these concepts and watch the characters of the storyline develop. The target audience for this show is any employee and member of the business industry between the ages of 18 to 50 with an interest in learning and improving their work and management techniques. Additionally, the setting of our TV show is an established restaurant on 4th Street North in St. Petersburg. Let's meet our characters. John is the owner of John's Bistro. He has been in the restaurant industry since he was a teenager and has a passion for business. He is an experienced manager and has strong interpersonal skills that are necessary for dealing with customers daily. He is a transactional leader who motivates others to work hard. Hannah has recently been promoted to management at John's Bistro. She loves being able to manage and even mentor employees who she recognizes talent in. She is a great leader and very personable. She has great critical thinking skills and enjoys being able to utilize those skills for the benefit of the business. She also has a strong communication skill and utilizes those with coworkers and customers. She's also a mentor to Stacy. Stacy is a full-time student at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. <clears throat> she is an aspiring entrepreneur. She can be very opinionated, which can give her a bad reputation, but she loves business and is a creative leader. Jake is also a full-time student at USFSP and is a very goal-driven individual. He works hard and enjoys his job. He is a notorious problem solver, and although he lacks social and communication skills, he is very smart and well-equipped for his job. He is a fast learner and an intuitive student. <clears throat> management concepts in episode one, introduction to management. Each employee of John's Bistro, John, Hannah, Stacy, and Jake is a stakeholder in the company. They each are personally affected by the success or failure of the business and are invested in the company. If John's Bistro can bring back the lost business, they will all keep their jobs and see an increase in their incomes. As the business's profits increase, so does the amount of money they each make. Throughout the episode, we begin to look at John and Hannah's leadership styles and technical skills. John is an innate transactional leader. He motivates others to work hard and help make the restaurant a success. John and Hannah are both leaders with strong emotional and social intelligence, which helps them relate to Stacy and Jake. Each manager is capable of making adjustments to meet the strengths of each member of the team thus making the entire restaurant run more smoothly. 
They each have the skills to create a healthy and efficiently run work environment, such as motivation, empathy, social skills, social perceptiveness, and behavioral flexibility. We will see glimpses of these managerial skills in action throughout the series, through how they address crisis and through how they engage Stacy and Jake. We begin to see how John and Stacy see the Bistro employees as members of a team. They are learning how to be an effective team in order to bring back the success of John's Bistro. Management Concepts in Episode 2, Principles of Management. John conducted a SWOT analysis when he had a moment to himself to consider the success of his business. He broke down the restaurant's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats as inspiration to consider what areas he could improve. John's focus and obvious concern for his business highlights his work centrality. It is clear that his business is extremely important to him and his genuine passion and competitive and desire for success reflects this attitude. John and Hannah decided they needed to find a competitive advantage for John's Bistro to regain the business that they had lost to the competition. They had to figure out a way to be more successful than their competition and to be more appealing to the customers they were trying to attract. Hannah proposed to John that they use a differentiation strategy in order to make John's Bistro stand out against the competition and to attract new business. Hannah knew it was important that they find a way to make their restaurant unique compared to the competition. There needed to be a strong factor to differentiate John's Bistro from the competition. Whether their competitive edge come in the form of a new marketing method or special promotion, they were willing to do whatever it took to bring back business. By outlining these specific methods to take, advan- to take action on regaining their business, John and Hannah have established strategic objectives. They are coming up with measurable goals to work towards and creating a concrete plan. Conclusions in management. We started the process by establishing clear guidelines and a code of conduct that was to guide our work together. It is our experience that we have evolved and transformed ourselves, becoming a highly functional group with a good communication and support system. Not only have we successfully completed each milestone and group challenge, but we have applied concepts learned during the class and implemented due process to achieve our final goal. It has been beneficial to be able to apply concepts such as the classical approach to management in order to obtain a high degree of coordination of actions toward the common goal of becoming more competitive. Not only during episode two of our TV show, but during the team's work. We implemented this by looking at the team within the lens of the classical decision-making model to choose the best strategy to improve our project weekly. It was always interesting to see how we were identifying decision situations, either problems or opportunities, generating alternatives to achieve wanted results, analyzing alternatives, selecting alternatives that maximized our desired outcome, implementing the decision, and monitoring and evaluating the results. This assignment has been an effective way for us to apply the concept learned in the textbook weekly through a hands-on experience, especially while working with a group throughout. Management Concepts and References During our group charter draft, we built our own organizational structure and design, following differentiation when assigning tasks and responsibilities to team members weekly based on skills, availability, and desire. We have also implemented formalization by selecting leaders for different milestones and by defining structures and systems related to decision-making, communication, and control in our group. Formalization has helped us to specify weekly who is doing what tasks and how are we reporting back to the leader of each milestone. Our team has developed through innovation and change and our individual behavior has shaped how we function as a group. We have constantly adapted with input from our professor whenever there is a need for change. We've been able to diagnose problems and make necessary corrections following feedback from each milestone. During this, pre- during this assignment, each of us has become a better team player and communicator. Group reflections. Our group always made sure to maintain regular communication with one another. We would text each other daily and always discuss how we were going to tackle upcoming assignments. We would always break down our assignments into manageable parts and make sure everyone had a role to fulfill. 
We also have always had a leader for ma our major assignments, someone to facilitate the group communication and to encourage the other group members to be thinking about upcoming work. We always required work be turned into the group leader the Friday before an assignment was due so that the leader had time to put everything into one document and, re and review it all before turning it in. We always planned ahead, which helped with our success and spacing out group work and deadlines made sure the project was manageable for everyone and less intimidating. Group reflections. Recommendations for future students. Although this course has come with a multitude of challenges so far, our team has managed to adapt to the circumstances and handle everything that has been thrown our way. One, wing, one thing we would suggest future students need to know is that this is a management class and that it will challenge how you can manage yourself and others. This course has taught us how to manage others by always having to work with our team members to complete group projects and assignments. We've learned to manage ourselves and our individual schedules through individual writing logs and by balancing other courses. Students taking this course need to be able to communicate well with others. This is the most crucial. Communication helps our team know what needs to be done, when it's due, and who needs to do it. Students also need to be able to manage their time for this class, especially considering it isn't only their grade and responsibility at stake. You have to be able to plan ahead and ensure you have time dedicated to work on every assignment. Find a reliable method to work on your group project. Our group always utilized Google Documents and Slides to ensure we all had access to the project and could see what other group members were working on. In conclusion, this class has taught us many skills and talents. One of the most important was being how to work as a team as well as how important it is to be willing to make the effort to work with your group members. You need to commit to deadlines and consistently meet them. Communicate daily and always be sure everyone is on the same page. Citations.